hello welcome to this lesson in this video you are going to learn about discrete random variables and then they are probability distributions okay so i've already spoken about random variables are and then what discrete random variables are in this case you are going to talk about the discrete random variables and then their probability or distributions so let's look at what i have here so a probability mass function pmf is a function that describes the probability distribution of what a discrete random variable in other ways it specifies the probability of what each possible outcome of what the random variable okay so let's break this down okay so assuming we we throw a fair die okay assuming you throw a fair die we can get a one two three four five or six right so let's say that our random variable x is the set of what possible values that you can get at the end of what this experiment so you can get one you can get two three four five and then six okay and i said we are training a fair die which means that they all have what equal probability of what occurring okay so in that case what you're going to do is that you're going to assign probability to what each of what these outcomes right you're going to assign probability of what you're going to assign probability of towards each of what these outcomes what will happen is that you are going to have the probability of what getting a one right which will be this much what one over six right then the probability of getting two which will be also what one over six and then let me write this again which is what one over six and then the probability of getting three will also be equal to what one over six the probability of getting four will also be what one over six the probability of getting five is also what one over six then the probability of what getting six is also what one over six so what i have here is the probability distribution for each of the possible outcomes of what the random variable okay so x is our random variable these are the possible outcomes okay and then what i have here are the probability for what each of what the possible outcomes so this is what pmf is okay so the mass there is actually telling us what the the mass there is actually telling is telling us the probability associated with what each outcome okay it is telling us the probability associated with what each outcome okay that's what it means so probability mass function in general specifies the probability of what each possible outcome of what the random experiment that's what this means okay so if you look at this table that i have here uh, it involves a question that uh, they were performing an experiment using with three cameras okay and then they were measuring uh, they were checking whether the cameras are going to pass the flash test or not okay so you are considering three cameras at a time and then these are the possible outcomes that you can get okay you can get all the cameras to pass you can get one to fill and then two to pass you can get the first one to pass the second to fill and then the third one to pass so these are the possible outcomes that we have okay but you are going to specify our random variable x to be the number of cameras that pass okay in each outcome okay so s equals the number of okay number of cameras that pass the test okay that pass the test okay so if that's the case you are going to consider each of the possible outcomes right so this is the first possible outcome you can have the three cameras to pass and in that case since x is referring to the number of cameras that pass the test you're going to have x to be equal to three right and then for the second one you are going to have two passes you are going to have x to be equal to two and then for the next one you are going to have two passes also so x will be equal to two and then to the final uh, outcome where we don't have what any pass there which is making what x zero so these are our random variables okay and then those are the values that what x can take on so what we do is that you are going to assign probability to what each of what these possible values of what x okay you're going to assign probabilities to what each of what these possible values of x and then, then that will be defined as what the probability what mass function okay so if you look at uh, what you have here the first outcome okay let me clean this if you look at the first outcome which is the which is that you are going to get three passes okay if you look at that one we have what our x to be equal to three and then the probability assigned to that is 
even as the 0 0.5512 okay which means that the probability of what getting three passes is given as what 0 0.5512 and then the second one you have x to be 2 but then you have the probability assigned to that was 0 0.128 which means that the probability of getting the two is what 0 0.128 same for what we have here right and then the probability of getting the one is given as what 0 0.0 zero three two right and so on so this is what the probability mass function is about it tells us what the probability of what each of what the outcome of what the random variables okay so if the random variable x has three then the probability is given as what zero point what five one two okay if variable if the random variable has a value of two then the probability what is, is given as what zero point what one two eight do you get it so this is what the probability mass function is so let's look at what I have here. It says that for a discrete random variable x with possible values x1, x2, all the way to xn, the probability mass function is a function such that f of what xi is greater than or equal to 0, and then the sum of what f of xi from i equals 1 to n should be equal to 1, and then f of xi is the same as the probability of what capital X equals what xi. So I'm going to explain this to you. Okay, so for the first one, which is that f of what xi should be greater than or equal to zero. That means that the probability okay of each of the outcomes should be greater than or equal to what one. Okay, the probability of what each of the outcomes should be what greater than or equal to what one. This is what this means. So if you look at the probability for each of the outcomes that we have here, okay. This one we have the probability of getting a three. To be 0 0.512 which is greater than zero okay we have for s being two you have 0 0.1 to so you see that all these values are greater than zero right but there can be a situation whereby the probability is what zero okay so let's take note of that that's why i'm saying that the probability of what uh each of the outcomes should be what either what greater than what equal to zero that's what this means okay and then the second one says that the sum of the probabilities of all the outcomes should be equal to what one okay that's what it means because total probability must be equal to one okay so in some the probability of all the outcomes we are expected to get what one okay you can try this and they are going to get one that's what the second uh point says okay this is the first one this is the second okay so let's look at what the third point says it says that the probability of f of xi should be equal to the probability of capital s equals what xi okay Let's look at what that means. Okay, so we have f of xi, okay, to be the same as what p of what capital X equals what xi. Okay, this is what this means. Okay, so I told you that the possible values of the capital X represents what the small x, right? So let's look at what you are going to do. Okay, so what this actually means is that um assuming our x is equal to 3 right assuming our capital x is equal to 3 then in this case you are going to have uh, p of x equals what 3 and then that will be equal to the probability of what getting a 3 which is given as what 0 0.5512 okay that's what the last uh, point there says okay so we can write this in a different way let's say that uh, let me clean this okay so you see that from the definition we're given what x1 f2 all the way to what x and right so let's see that our x1 anytime you are getting a pass anytime you are getting one pass let's consider it about x1 right and anytime you are getting two passes let's consider it about x2 and anytime you are getting three passes let's consider it about x3 okay all right so looking at the expression that was given to us okay let's say we have what f of what x3 and then you know that what s3 represents what getting what three passes right so that would be this much the probability of what capital x equals what three okay and then that's going to be what 0 0.5512 so that would be the probability distribution for what the random variable when x is equal to what three okay and then let's see we have what f of x2 and then that would be this much the probability of what capital x being equal to what two right and then this will give us a value for 0 0.128 okay so that's what the last uh, point means okay so a probability mass function is a function such that the probability of 
each of the variables okay should be greater than or equal to zero and then the sum of the probability of all the variables should be equal to one and then we can write the probability of what the variables as what we have here okay let's take note of this so if you look at everything that i have here if you sum up all these probabilities they must be what equal to one okay same way same thing for this uh experiment that we have here right the probability of each of the variables are greater than one there may be a case that the probability will be equal to zero though but in this case you have all the probabilities to be what greater than or equal to one and then when you sum up all of them you are going to get the total probability to be what equal to what one so this is what a uh, probability distribution for random variables is about so it specifies the probability of what each of the possible outcomes of what the random variable okay so in general the possible outcome for x okay can be one can be sorry can be zero one two and then three okay so what the probability uh, distribution does is that it uh, specifies the probability of what getting what any of what this uh, random variables what for what x okay that's what it does and then if you learn that the sum of all the probabilities for the random variables must be equal to zero right and then and then the probability of one of them should be greater than what equal to what zero so that's what uh, probability distribution is about and then if the probability distribution is about discrete random variables then we term that as what the probability what mass function